Okay, guys, here I am again with Posh. You remember uh, a few days ago we did her neck, okay? So today we're gonna go into the shoulder and legs, okay? How to make the legs look more like a pillar and we're gonna work a little bit in the front. Remember, we're doing just one side, the other side is not as it's not done yet so uh, let's start with the shoulder okay very important thing to know about the shoulder uh, not only blending with the neck but uh, you guys have to keep this part short and blend it into the legs all right so we're gonna do this today okay so you know how, how much hair you need to take or have an idea if there's still too much hair give a little tug with the brush like this you see there's too much hair you can smooth that out with a with a brush but remember if the dog would only stay still in a, in a in the ring that would be enough however the dog will move and if you leave too much hair, although you can smooth it out with the brush, the hair is going to move, so uh, it's going to get out of place and at some point the dog's not going to look good. So it means you have to take a little bit more. So you give a little tug and start to blend. Stay, stay, stay baby, stay. Hope you guys can see from here. I pull, some people pull straight back. I pull on an angle here, like down on an angle, okay? It helps the blending. You see, uh, look at this hair coming out here. So, you gotta pull the long hair. Stay, posh, posh, stay, good girl. Pull the long hair. So if your dog has either short legs or you're grooming, it's showing your dog, uh, it's uh, portraying your dog to have a short leg and the dog doesn't have, what you have to do, you have to go in front here, you go a little higher here when you're cleaning this part, stay. It's almost like you make the curly cue a little higher here. Then you go really, really short in where the shoulder meet the leg up here. And then another secret is you lift the leg here. All this hair, you see that her, her um, elbow is here, okay? But all this hair here, it's blending too much with this and look like her, her leg will finish right here. And look like oh she has a short leg no but it comes up to here here's her her bone so look how how much leg she has but sometimes sometimes we make our dog look short leg even though they are not okay so I'm gonna show a little bit more of that so let's continue here I go here in the front okay uh, the secret to go a little bit down there's the bone here okay so this still can come out she has good front you see like her leg starts here when it goes down start here so she has body in front of her so I can take more of this here stay remember in the, right in the front you pull straight down stay 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 Stop. 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 
Get the long hair first. Long, go for the long hair first. Stay, posh, posh, stay. Get the long hair first and then start to get the shorter, shorter. Don't go right in there, you know, like right near the skin and pull. Go for the short first because this way you go, you, you groom gradually, you know where to stop before you go too far. And even knowing that sometimes we make mistake, okay? So this part here, I'm gonna show you here. So keep pulling short here and then you go right to, to, to where the body, the shoulder meets the legs, okay? You see how it gives a little, hey, stay. Gives a little dent here, slightly, okay? So this way you will show the shoulder, the, the front of the dog coming ahead of the body, what should be like that, you know? Show the leg a little up, make the leg a little taller for dogs that may have short legs, okay? And then for that part, you go back here also and take some of this hair. Put your hand underneath, like underneath, and lift the hair. Look, this is, this is not skirt. Skirt is here, okay? Look, you go here, this comes from the legs. Uh, if you put the hand right under the armpit and do this, you see what is leg and what is skirt. So this can come up, okay? Stay, stay, posh, posh, stay. Good, go. You start to go up here, you see? There's a lot to be, to take it off. So from the bottom, from the bottom of the leg, I go up. This part here, okay? The very bottom near the, the pads, I pull up. So is the front, use the brush, brush it up. Okay, this is a good way, brush it up. And you see this hair in front of the feet? So you pull, that you pull up. All around the feet. I don't know if you can see. It's good if the dog leaves the leg on the table. It makes it easier. If not, you can hold underneath here and pull just near the, the, the nails here. Pull up, okay? Stay, stay. It's a little bit uncomfortable. Dogs don't like much, but you know, sometimes you have to do. So if you brush it up, one uh, a good way to know am, uh, is the hair on my dog too long or too short or whatever. Too long. If the hair is curving, or if it's going and doing a curve like this here on the skirt on the leg, it means it's too long. So then you have to take the end. So if you brush it up, sorry, if you brush it up like this, and then get the long hair and pull, pull it straight down. Stay, stay. I could have gotten a more cooperative dog, but she hasn't been groomed for a while, so that's why she's a, she's a little bit uh, restless. But she's good. And Pasha, you good? Where's my Pasha? Oh, good girl. Yes.
we started uh, the shoulders with a lot of hair here, a lot of hair in the legs, okay? Uh, not a definition here on how, how tall is the leg. Uh, there's a lot of uh, problems here. So now I'm gonna show you the other side so we can compare and I'm, sh I'm, tell you, I'm gonna tell you what I did uh, to get there, okay? Okay, so here it is, the side, almost finished uh, because uh, I have to do in a short period of time. Uh, it's not completely finished, but you probably be able to see the difference, okay? So uh, remember, pull near the toes up, then brush the legs up and pull the ends of the long hairs down okay until the the legs start to take shape remember to if your dog has a short leg or your grooming is portraying your dog with a short leg remember to come up here put your hand under here and take this hair you see there's a little bit more can be taken here still okay uh, she's not done up so I like to leave a little bit more hair on the leg because I normally back comb the leg so with a little bit more hair it would look nicer and uh, once I do the skirt and blend it a little bit better here that this part of the leg will also look better and then you have an idea if you have to take a little bit more or leave more okay so as of now uh, it seems okay you know um, so you can compare to the other side uh, and see the difference, okay? So you see like it's flat here. The neck comes flat, there's no bumpy lines, there's no uh, 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 quick cuts, like big uh, lines. On the side, you, you shouldn't see a line like this here, okay? Like this, because uh, for me, a west, west line should blend into one another, you know, and not cut, 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 you know, that's, that's wrong for me. So, uh, at least for the way I grew. Uh, so, this is the, my uh, lesson on the shoulder blending to the legs and how to do the legs. So, if you have any questions, uh, you can write in the comments. I answer, I will answer them as much as I can. Uh, hopefully, this will help you guys when you're doing the shoulders and, and legs. Okay? Thank you.